Forests cover 30% of the land area on our planet. They help people thrive and survive by purifying water and air and providing people with jobs. Some 13 million people across the world have a job in the forest sector, and another 41 million have a job that is related to the sector. Many animals also rely on forests. 80% of the world's land-based species live in forests. Some places are especially diverse. The tropical forests of New Guinea, for example, contain more than 6% of the world's species of plants and animals. Forests also play a critical role in mitigating climate change because they act as a carbon sink, soaking up carbon dioxide that would otherwise be free in the atmosphere and contribute to ongoing changes in climate patterns. But forests around the world are under threat, jeopardizing these benefits. The threats manifest themselves in the form of deforestation. Deforestation refers to the decrease in forest areas across the world that are lost for other uses, such as agricultural croplands, urbanization, or mining activities. Greatly accelerated by human activities since 1960, deforestation has been negatively affecting natural ecosystems, biodiversity, and the climate. Since humans started cutting down forests, 46% of trees have been felled, according to a 2015 study in the journal Nature. In North America, about half the forests in the eastern part of the continent were cut down for timber and farming between the 1600s and late 1800s, according to National Geographic. Today, most deforestation is happening in the tropics. Areas that were inaccessible in the past are now within reach as new roads are constructed through the dense forests. A 2017 report by scientists at the University of Maryland showed that the tropics lost about 160 thousand square kilometers of forest in 2017, an area the size of Bangladesh. The World Bank estimates that about 10 million square kilometers of forest have been lost since the beginning of the 20th century. In the past 25 years, forests shrank by 1.3 million square kilometers, an area bigger than the size of South Africa. In 2018, The Guardian reported that every second, a chunk of forest equivalent to the size of a soccer field is lost. And the Union of Concerned Scientists estimates that an area the size of Switzerland is lost to deforestation every year. Farming, grazing of livestock, mining, and drilling combined account for more than half of all deforestation. Forestry practices, wildfires, and, in small part, urbanization account for the rest. In Malaysia and Indonesia, forests are cut down to make way for producing palm oil, which can be found in everything from shampoo to saltines. Growing the trees that produce the oil requires the leveling of native forest and the destruction of local peatlands, which doubles the harmful effect on the ecosystem. According to a report published by Zion Market Research, the global palm oil market was valued at $65 billion in 2015 and is expected to reach $92 billion in 2021. In the Amazon, cattle ranching and farms, particularly soy plantations, are key culprits. In 2019, the number of human-lit fires in Brazil skyrocketed. As of August 2019, more than 80,000 fires burned in the Amazon, an increase of almost 80% from 2018, National Geographic reported. Logging operations, which provide the world's wood and paper products, also fell countless trees each year. Loggers, some of them acting illegally, also build roads to access more and more remote forests, which leads to further deforestation. Illegally harvested wood finds its way into major consumption markets, such as the U.S. and European Union, which further fuels the cycle. Forests are also cut as a result of growing urban sprawl as land is developed for homes. Deforestation not only removes vegetation that is important for removing carbon dioxide from the air, but the act of clearing the forests also produces greenhouse gas emissions. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations says that deforestation is the second leading cause of climate change. The first is the burning of fossil fuels. In fact, deforestation accounts for nearly 20% of greenhouse gas emissions. The most known consequence of deforestation is its threat to biodiversity. Living things have mastered the art of adapting to new environments. This is how life on Earth manages to thrive from the Arctic tundra to burning hot deserts. However, it takes time for life to adapt. Deforestation alters land too quickly for plants and animals to cope, which means that many of them do not survive. If enough deforestation occurs, entire species can be wiped out. Deforestation affects local people and their livelihoods. Healthy forests support the livelihood of 1.6 billion people globally, 1 billion of whom are among the world's poorest. This means there are many people depending on forests for survival and using them to hunt and gather raw products for their small-scale agriculture processes. But in developing countries such as Indonesia, Vietnam, Brazil, or Mexico, land tenure systems are weak. This allows big businesses to get these lands and use them for other ends, disrupting local people's lives. Locals then have to make one of two choices. They can decide to abandon their land and migrate somewhere else, avoiding conflict and embracing the challenge of a new, different life, or they can stay and work for the companies exploring it in remote plantations, often getting unfair wages and working under inhumane conditions. 
Soil erosion is another consequence of deforestation. Deforestation weakens and degrades the soil. Forested soils are usually not only richer on organic matter, but also more resistant to erosion, bad weather, and extreme weather events. This happens mainly because roots help fix trees in the ground, and the sun blocking tree cover helps the soil to slowly dry out. As a result, Deforestation will probably mean the soil will become increasingly fragile, leaving the area more vulnerable to natural disasters such as landslides and floods. Trees and other plants also extract groundwater and release that water into the atmosphere during photosynthesis. However, when large numbers of trees are cut down, the water they usually extract, store, and release into the atmosphere is no longer present. This means that cleared forests, which once had moist, fertile soil and plenty of rain, become barren and dry. This kind of change in climate is called desertification. Such dry conditions can lead to an increased risk of fire on peatland and great loss of life for the plants and animals that once lived in the forest. Ending deforestation is our best chance to conserve wildlife and defend the rights of forest communities. On top of that, it's one of the quickest and most cost-effective ways to curb global warming. Eating less meat helps stop deforestation. Some studies show that without meat and dairy consumption, global farmland use could be reduced by over 75%. In this way, reducing your meat consumption is also a big step to stop not only deforestation, but also global warming on a larger scale. Remember, a lot of space is needed to grow both animals and the food they consume, while other nutritious foods could be grown and result in larger food quantities using the same space. Consuming less and more consciously helps stop deforestation. As consumers, we can choose to buy less industrial and transformed products such as cookies, noodles, or cosmetics that use plenty of palm oil. Instead, we can go for a homemade approach with fewer chemicals and food preservatives, which is better for both the planet and our health. However, if you are not willing to make such changes, because they are time-consuming, you can still consume more responsibly while keeping your lifestyle. To this regard, you can buy products from brands adopting eco-friendly business practices. When it comes to food, buying directly from small farmers using agroforestry practices is the best choice for the planet. Your smartphone, your laptop, or your car are all made of aluminum, plastic, and rare earth minerals, among other materials. To get these, land was cleared to build mining sites, roads, and factories. The longer we use our products, the higher the chances that demand doesn't grow. Economically speaking, if the demand doesn't grow, production won't grow either, and it is not necessary to clear more space, to extract natural resources, and build human infrastructures. And finally, the last solution, reforestation and afforestation. Land skinned of its tree cover for urban settlements should be urged to plant trees in the vicinity and replace the cut trees. Also, the cutting must be replaced by planting young trees to replace the older ones that were cut. Trees are being planted under several initiatives every year, but they still don't match the numbers of the ones we've already lost. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified next time we post a video. You can also give this video a like, share it with your friends, and if you have the means and want to support the channel, you can do it on Patreon at patreon.com slash notcomplicated.